morning everyone and happy Friday or happy whatever day that you are watching this if it's not a Friday. I've just been to the gym this morning. I did legs and I had a little steam which was lovely. I am going to make some breakfast. I've got quite a busy weekend planned ahead so I just thought I would pick up the camera and vlog a bit. Um, tonight we're going to a friend's for a barbecue um, which would be really nice. I actually on Fridays in the summer get to finish work at three which is really nice. So I'm going to take myself off to um, one of my local shopping centres because I bought a dress from Primark a few weeks ago and I really, really need to return it before it goes out of like the um, return date because it's just really not right. I'll show it to you guys actually. It's from the Rita Ora collection and I thought it would just be like a really nice white cotton easy throw on dress but the boob cups the situation's just not really working basically so yeah we need to do that so i'm going to take myself on a little um day date afternoon um take myself to primark i need to post one of our save the dates um to somebody now that they're back from traveling i need to um post a depop parcel not depop vintage parcel yeah i just need to do random little jobs like that but this shopping center that i'm going to go to i feel like i can get everything pretty much done in quite a close space so yeah i'm going to go there i also need to pick up some food to take to the barbecue i think they're doing like the meat and stuff so i just need to get some salad -y bits and maybe like snacks and things um so yeah i am working from home this morning i need to log on in about 15 minutes so i'm going to make some breakfast so in the corner there looking really really dramatic i don't know how well i can zoom in enzo actually had his um bits snipped whatever the term is castrated i think is the vet term um a week today so he is actually a lot more back to himself now you can see he's just like chilling in the corner that slowed this week down a little bit i've been in quite a lot um i've done like gym classes and stuff but i haven't done anything too crazy because i've just wanted to be with him and make sure that he's okay because i just feel so so bad for him it's such a normal operation and the recovery is really quick but i feel like with his leg he's been through so so much already um so yeah i just wanted to be with him this week so yeah i'm gonna make breakfast i'll show you what i'm gonna have i'm just making what i have every single day it's like my yogurt bowl thing and coffee um so yeah i'm gonna go and do that and then i will take you guys along while i am shopping and maybe try and get my camera out if i'm not feeling too awkward I would show you the Primark dress um, that I'm returning just in case it is anybody's cup of tea and you want to go and get it if it's still in Primark now. I'm really sad that it doesn't look quite right on me but this is what it looks like in the boob cups just don't sit in the right place. Also just a little bit too long um, when it's on so yeah. If I return that I probably will end up buying something else and not getting my money back knowing me um, but it was £20 which is that expensive for Primark? I don't really know anymore, to be honest, but it is actually really, really nice quality. Um, and this is the straps. It's so cute. It's got like a kind of ruched back. But yeah, I was just trying to make it work and it really was not doing me any favours. I'm probably going to pop on some leggings or something to go out because it's not actually that warm. Um, the sun's just not really come out today. So I'm going to do that and then head out to the shops. I also actually got in the post something from Hey Estrid and I feel like I did an Instagram story with them years and years ago when they first like launched and yeah it's a bit of a full circle moment that they have reached back out to me to send me um, a razor so I am really really grateful. They have sent me, I haven't put the head on yet but this hot pink, it's kind of like a purpley pink actually razor. I can't describe the weight of these razors and how good quality they feel i handed it to jordan and was like feel the weight of this and he couldn't believe it it's really really nice so yeah it has obviously got the bit that you can like change the head and they've sent me two razor heads by the way i don't actually need to be talking about this in this video but i am such a huge fan of estrid so i just wanted to mention it to you guys if you've not heard of them before not everyone and their mum talks about them but just in case you haven't heard of them i just noticed that my neighbor is working from home and they are like looking straight into this room and i'm standing here like talking about a razor 
so I'd like to just close the blinds because I look really weird. Um, but anyway, what I was saying is you also get these like wall suction things. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, so you can stick this on your wall and you can have your razor just on your bathroom wall, which is really, really good. Um, and just looks super cute, obviously. You normally have the blade on it as well. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited to use that and to get that up in the bathroom. They also sent me, which I have never tried before. I don't know if it's new, so I will find out. But it is their ultimate shaving gel. Again, the packaging is just in this really beautiful, like, purpley pink colour. Um, and it's got shea butter, niacinamide and sea moss in it. It's 100% vegan and made for sensitive skin. And it's a really big 200ml bottle. So yeah, I'm going to be giving this a go keep you guys posted um but i think i might do like a little tiktok around this stuff as i just said um but yeah thank you so much to hey estrid for sending me those bits and yeah let's go to the shops and return this primark stuff and do all of the other random things that i need to do today just ready for my friend's barbecue now um i've just popped on the tiniest bit of makeup my skin is kind of having a bit of a moment so i haven't got much on um but i just put a bit of like spf and things on my face as it's still quite sunny out there i was trying to show you guys when i was in primark what i was trying on in the changing rooms but the lighting was just so horrifically bad in there that it just wasn't doing anything justice so i decided to try and show you guys on the hanger like what i was picking up but i don't really know how well that went either so i will show you guys probably over this weekend what i picked up i'm actually wearing two of the things so the first thing is this white little like bralette basic top it's one of their like ribbed ones i was wearing the gray one earlier and i suddenly thought why have i never bought this in more colors because i think i got that gray one last year um, they're always in like the pyjama section but I just got this white one and it looks really nice and fresh with a tan so yeah I picked this up and then I also picked up which I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see but this like claw clip that I've got in my hair let me see if I can show you guys I don't know how well you guys can see that but it's like a tortoise shell like really natural coloured claw clip I'm going to go to my friends for a barbecue now and then I will catch up with you guys at some point this weekend when something else exciting happens it is the next day i have just super quickly got ready i've just had a shower washed my hair i've not put any makeup on yet because i am going to meet my dad for breakfast jordan was meant to be coming but he's got to go to work so um yeah it's just enzo and i and my dad we're just gonna go and grab some breakfast together and have a catch up and then i'm gonna come home and get ready to go out to my friend's 30th birthday. Um, she's having it at a rooftop bar in London. I think it's actually gonna be quite chilled for the part that I'm going to. So yeah, I need to work out what I'm gonna wear because I think the theme is black. And normally that's not a problem for me. Like I have so many black items in my wardrobe, but when it's warm and muggy, it's just really difficult to know what to wear. So I've got a couple of options in my head, I think. I probably should have tried them on earlier this week, so it's not gonna be so much of a rush, but I didn't do that. I'm gonna go and have breakfast, catch up with my dad, and then come back, and I can probably prop you guys up, and you can do like my makeup and stuff with me. I won't be doing anything crazy, because as I've said a million times in this vlog, it's so muggy, um, and I feel like makeup's just slippy off my face whenever I put it on at the moment. So, I'll quickly show my outfit, actually, because it's just a basic one that I would chuck on every day. Um, I feel like I haven't really spoken this morning yet, so that's why I sound a little bit groggy. Um, the barbecue was lovely last night, it was so, so nice. I think about to about one, which nowadays is actually very, very late for me. So I am kind of feeling it this morning. I didn't actually drink, but even just the tiredness, I feel a little bit like hungover. I just got this vest top on. I actually don't know where this one's from. It could be Zara, it could be somewhere else. I have no idea. Um, you can kind of see my bra through it, but... This is like a nude bra, so I don't really know what else I'm meant to put on underneath it. 
um just got my little black necklace and then i've got um these joggers on that i got from primark yesterday not really jogger weather like it is way too warm but i just wanted something super comfy to put on and all my linen trousers are in the wash and things so yeah that's what i've gone with they're not actually too heavy they're quite lightweight and i need to go and grab enzo's um harness and lead and all of that stuff but i was going to take his doggy bag that he can sit in but i just thought he'll probably actually want to walk a little bit today because i've not been able to walk him that much or for that long because it's been so so warm um so yeah it's a lot cooler today so we're going to take him into town take him for breakfast and um yeah I look really weird on camera with this hat on but in person it looks okay i have edited most of this video and then realized that it's not really long enough and it's just a bit boring to be honest so i'm gonna add another bit of footage in here so i am just back from the gym i did a body balance class i think it was um with my friend annabelle and it was really really nice it was like a mix between yoga pilates and i think it was tai chi the woman said i'm not really sure um so don't quote me on that but yeah it was a really really nice class so we had a coffee and a catch up after that and i am just home I just had a parcel in the post i think it is from tiktok shop so i thought i'd open that with you guys and i've got a couple of updates for the vlog i guess i should tell you those before i open this parcel otherwise you might be a bit confused um, but I basically last week got a new car, which was very, very exciting. For those of you that don't know, I had a Mazda MX-5 um, and I've had it for a few years now. I absolutely loved it, but it was just costing me an absolute fortune because I kept getting like flat tyres and stuff wrong with my tyres. Because of all the country roads and stuff that I drive on, um, it was just costing me an absolute fortune. So... I knew I needed to change my car eventually anyway because it's just not very practical having um, two seats. Um, but yeah, I just decided to bite the bullet and change it literally last week. So I got my new car. I was actually going to continue this vlog in the car, but I kind of forgot about that. So I will show you it later um, when I go downstairs. But I have ordered a car seat for Enzo. Um, to put in the back because currently he's got um, like a blanket and a seat belt and stuff that he puts on which is good and really safe but it's just not that comfortable for him and he kind of like still slides around a little bit on this blanket sorry my arm is hurting um so yeah it's just not the best situation for him so i went on tiktok shop on tuesday and found a car seat for him it was actually really cheap and i think it'll be really comfortable for him so i've ordered it and i thought we could unbox it together and then i can show you guys my new car when i go downstairs it is um a lot bigger than the master which is exactly what i wanted but it has taken me a little while to get used to it it's also an automatic so that's been a bit of a learning curve because i've only ever driven manuals um i feel like in the us and things a lot of people i don't think they have manual cars i could just be completely making that up but automatics are just so so much easier and i know they are a little bit more expensive for most cars which is why to be honest i've never actually had an automatic before um but i thought with this car i needed an automatic um i drive quite a lot up to london as well because i've got a few friends up there it's just really not ideal having a manual in like start stop traffic all the time so yeah that is the new car situation very very exciting i thought i'd treat enzo so he can have a bit more of a comfortable journey because i do drive him quite a lot like to my dad's and to doggy daycare and just like generally on the weekend like taking him out so yeah let's unbox this car seat and see what it looks like it's basically like a basket from the picture i've seen that the strap goes over the headrest so let's see if that's actually like tiktok versus reality um with what i've ordered but yeah the box isn't very big which is worrying me but also enzo is not a very big dog so i don't need a massive seat for him i just went for a black one because i just want something minimal 
Um, hopefully you guys can't see my dress. I'm just gonna cover that off. I also ordered one of those floor like carpet cleaning brushes because I've been seeing them all over my for you page and I definitely was influenced. So hopefully that arrives today as well. Um, but yeah, let's see what this car seat's like. It's from Proud Pet. I can also put the link down below. Oh, it's actually like quite bougie. Didn't expect it to be this nice. Um, okay. Got too much going on here. Oh, that's so cute actually. So where's the front? It's basically just like a big black basket. But he's gonna absolutely love that. Let's put it down and see if he goes in it. He is checking it out. Not really sure if it's for him or not. Do you want to go in it? No. Come on, in you go. In you go. He's not convinced. He's like, what the hell is that? Is that a new basket for you? In you go. He's freaked out. He is not sure about that at all. But yeah, I'll have a little play around with this when I get in the car later. Um and see if he likes it but he would be so much more comfortable in that than he will be than he would have been just sitting on a blanket and things it is the next day and i completely forgot to take you guys in the car with me yesterday oh enzo um i completely forgot to take you guys in the car with me yesterday when i was going to my mum's to show you my car so I am about to get ready to go to one of my friend's little girl's birthday parties. So I am gonna put some makeup on. I'm literally wearing like really casual stuff at the moment because this morning um, Jordan and I went out for breakfast and took Enzo on a nice big walk and stuff. I washed my hair. I am trying to grow my fringe out. So I've been really trying to like wash my hair like once a week and then just have it tied up the rest of the time so that it's not getting like heat damage and stuff. So yeah, I've been washing it once a week. So when it comes around to the weekend and I wash it, it just feels so, so nice. I am going to get ready to go out. I feel like I've got so many getting ready with me clips in this vlog um, of me doing my makeup and stuff. So. I'm not going to film that but I will show you guys my outfit and then also show you guys my car when we get in that um, downstairs to go. I have no idea what I'm going to wear. I've got this like denim jumpsuit from Whistles from years and years ago when I used to work there. So I might put that on, it's just like an easy outfit that I know I'm always comfortable in. And I know that I'm going to be like rolling around on the ground. Um, yeah, that might be just like an easy all-in-one outfit because the weather's a little bit weird and grey today. The final outfit has been chosen. I've just been taking pictures here and the lighting was actually okay, but it doesn't seem to be picking up on the vlog camera for some reason. Let me see if I prop you guys up, if that helps. This is the final outfit. I've just got on my Primark um, little gold slides and I've got my blue bag with me um, but yeah just super simple very kids party appropriate I think I don't really know I feel like I look like a giant toddler in this to be perfectly honest but I just know I'm going to be on the floor crawling around with them all and um, I wore a dress to um, another first birthday party the other week it just wasn't really working out very well um, because I was constantly feeling like I was going to flash. So yeah, this is the outfit for today. I'm going to go and get in the car. I'll show you guys my new car. And I've also got a new diffuser that I want to put in there. I don't really know what I was expecting to say now that I've got in the car, but yes. I have a new car, which is very, very exciting. Um, I think I've already spoken about it the other day, but um, yeah, I've had it for just over a week now and I'm definitely getting used to it, which is bab. Um, but I just found this in my drawer at home. It's from Neom and it's like a little um, decorative, I think it's meant to be like a Christmas decoration, but you put some of the infused oils on it. Apparently it's meant to be like a nice diffuser. So I thought I could just hang this in my car and hopefully it'd be like an air freshener, but we'll see how that goes. I don't really have anything else to say about the new car, to be honest, apart from that I really like it. It's a lot bigger than my last one, and um, it actually already is cleaned. So 
yeah i am gonna wrap the vlog up here um because i'm not gonna take you guys to a birthday party and i have run out of things to say about this new car but yeah i will speak to you guys all soon i hope you've enjoyed another random vlog from me and yeah don't forget to follow me on tiktok and instagram if you don't already because i have really been upping my game a little bit on like reels and tiktok and stuff like that so yeah if you want to see more like fashiony bits from me then definitely head over there but if not i will speak to you guys in my next video